Hello, this is Colin with Maker Farm. Today we're going to show you how to build a J-head hot end. Um, to do that, you're going to want to get a few tools. I've got a D-sub crimping tool. Um, I just bought this at Radio Shack. It was about 10 bucks. I've got a set of wire strippers, um, some diagonal cutters. I've also got a little set of tweezers. And then I have some cap-on tape. And then you're also going to need, of course, your J-head hot end um, with the install kit. So first off, if we open up our kit, let me show you what we have. You're going to have your acrylic mounting piece, and we're going to use that later on. That's at the very, very end. We've got our wires to wire up our hot end. We've got the actual J-head. You've got your resistor and your thermistor, which is probably hard to see. We're going to have some heat shrink tubing. We're going to have some uh, sleeve material really hard to see those probably but um, you've got a large one and a small one. The large one is going to be for your resistor. The small one is going to be for your thermistor. We've got four little crimping ferrules and then we've also got um, a two pin Molex connector which we're going to use depending on our electronics we're going to use for our thermistor. Um, I'm going to wire this for printer board. Um, Gen 6 is going to be somewhat similar and so is ramps so I'll tell you all that at the very end. Okay, to start off with, we're going to first start with our resistor. Um, if you get your resistor and you get your large um, sleeving, we're going to go ahead and put that sleeving on one of those ends. Then I'm going to go ahead and mark it at about three millimeters, four millimeters down, and I'm going to cut it off. So what we want is when we put that sleeving all the way on there, you're going to have three or four millimeters of the actual contact um, sticking out the end there. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. So put it on, leave about four millimeters hanging out the end and there you have it. We're going to take one of our crimping ferrules and put it on that and then I'm just going to crimp one side of it. So I'm basically just crimping it onto the resistor at this point. Do the same with the other side. Put a crimp in it, so now we've got a resistor with our sleeving and we've got two crimps, crimping ferrules um, on each end. Then at this point we're going to see if it fits in our hot end. Um, sometimes you have to use a knife. This time looks like I might just be able to push it all the way in there. Take some force. Okay, but I got it in there. You typically don't need any heat sink compound, even if it's loose, you don't need any of that stuff. Typically all that's going to do is just make a mess once it heats up. And if you ever have to replace it, it just makes it a real pain. So I just use these dry. Um, if you take some of your heat shrink tubing, we're going to cut it into four equal pieces. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my wire. Now this one, this specific one was shipped and there's four wires in one end there. Since I'm doing mine as a printer board, um, I'm only going to use two of these, so I'm actually going to take these two center wires out. So what I'm going to do, right on this side here, there's little pins, and if you push down one of those tabs, you can pull the wire out. So I'm going to use my tweezers and push it down. And then once it's pushed down, I can just pull it out. For the printer board here, I'm going to pull out the two center wires so that I just have the two outer wires for the resistor. Okay, so I'm going to put those off to the side. You can see there for the resistor now, it's just got the two outer wires. And I'm going to take the ends. These ones are already, um, the sleeving's already been removed. So it's our, if you didn't have that, you could use your wire strippers and remove that. I'm going to take those two ends off. I'm going to then take two of the heat shrink tubings, put them on each of those wires. Then I'm going to take my crimping tool, put it on one of those crimps. We're going to put one wire in the other side there and then crimp it. Pull it out and repeat for the other side. Crimp it. And then go ahead and pull that back out. Now, you're also going to need a cigarette lighter or a heater so that we can shrink that tubing. Okay. 
So now all you're going to do is you're going to put your tubing over that crimping ferrule. Just going to use a cigarette lighter here. Shrink that tubing up. Then we'll do the same for the other side. Okay. At this point, all we have to do is bend these wires over. I like to bend them up as well so that our finished product, at least for the resistor, looks just like that. Okay. We're going to put that aside. Now we're going to go to our thermistor. Since I'm using the printer board, I'm going to take the little white Molex connector. I'm going to push those pins in just like that, and they're secure. Now we're going to take the small sleeving, which is hard to see. We're basically just going to cut it in half. I'm going to open up those little holes there, make sure they're round. Then I'm going to take my thermistor. And I'm just going to feed each leg of the thermistor into this high temp sleeving. Just like that. Push the sleeving up so that it contacts that glass bead. And we're going to put that down. For the crimping ferrules, if you were to just put these crimping ferrules on, they would slide all the way down to the glass bead. So I usually get my little cutters or get some pliers. And you don't want to cut it, you just want to put a little crimp in it. So that, and I do it halfway up. Just put a little tiny crimp in there. So that when I put this on, it's going to get caught on that sleeving and not go any farther. Then I can just take that leg and bend it over. Put the other one on. Make sure it's tight and bend it over so that when you're done, that's how the end of your thermistor is going to look. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and get our wires. Same thing, if they're not, if the insulation is not removed, remove some already. You take off maybe six millimeters of insulation. We can go ahead and put our heat shrink tubing on each of those wires. Take our crimping tool. Line it up, put one of the wires in and crimp it on. We're going to do the same thing for the other one. Get a crimper tool on there. Put the wire in, crimp it. And we're going to take our heat shrink tubing, put them up over those crimping ferrules. And then we're going to shrink the tubing on top of those. So they don't move, okay? That's all you have to do for your thermistor. So in the end, that's what it's gonna look like. And for the printer board, at least, you're gonna have a two pin connector. Um, when you use this on Gen 6, you're gonna put this on a four pin connector. And if you use it on ramps, you're gonna use a little black connector that comes in the ramps kit that doesn't have these little legs, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our hot end. And if you notice on this side of the hot end, there's a little hole there up on, on the side of it. We're going to take this glass bead, just put it in, the, in that hole, and we're going to just kind of bend it down a little bit. Then I take my cap on tape. You can use anything that's going to resist the heat. I'm just going to put it on there and wrap it around quite a few times to make sure that that doesn't move. We want to make sure to secure this thermistor. If you don't, and that thermistor comes out, while your printer is running, um, suddenly your thermistor is going to get cold, and so your electronics are going to think that it needs to turn on the power for your resistor, and you're going to end up burning up your resistor. Um, then you have to dismantle your hot end, and it's just kind of a pain, okay? So you're going to wrap it around our hot end like that to hold the thermistor. Then in the other one I like to do, I like to do it just around the body, just to secure our wires to make sure that we don't have a stress point so just up a little bit from the nozzle itself wrap those all together 
plastic. And there we have our hot end that we've built. And currently it's wired for printer board. Like I was telling you earlier, um, this two pin, you'll use that for a printer board. If you have ramps, you'll have a little black connector that you're gonna use. Um, if you had ramps for the resistor, you would actually just cut that end off and there's a little set of uh, set screws that you would put it into. It's either D10 or D11, I don't remember which. And you do that um, for Gen 6. I believe it's these bottom two pins are going to be for your resistor and the top two pins would be for your thermistor. And then after that we're going to build our extruder and then what you would use this acrylic mounting plate for is there's a slot up at the top of your hot end. It's going to slot in there. Then this is going to be on top. We're going to put our extruder and below is going to be our X carriage and then we have our wires going to our electronics. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to visit Maker Farm to see all the new products that we're getting. And of course, you can always uh, email us if you have any questions.